welcome back to my channel. I just got back from the NARBC 2023 Schaumburg show. If you haven't gone to it, it's um, not as big as Tinley. It's, it's a smaller show, but small on the scale of compared to Tinley. Um, it's much bigger than your local show, so it's way worth it to go. There's less crowds on Tinley, so that's really nice. And this time around, there was a ton of new vendors. Like there's a lot of people I hadn't seen, so it was a lot, really cool to see all the tables that I've never, you know, experienced before. Of course, there's a lot of ball pythons, as it is. Tinley tends to have a better spread of different types of animals. This one had a lot of ball pythons. There was also weirdly, like, people didn't show up to some tables, so there were some empty tables, which was really weird. We didn't go into the auction this time because we didn't have money, because we spent it all at the show mostly on Friday evening. So if you get VIP tickets, you can go during the vendor setup and sometimes you get dibs basically on the really cool things before anyone else sees them. So we spent most of our Schaumburg uh, cash on Friday. This was a cool show because I got to bring one of my best friends here. Uh, she'd never been to a reptile show before and her and her boyfriend absolutely loved it. So I think I got people hooked on going to reptile shows. For every show that I go to, I always say, what was the theme of the show? And this one's theme I think was bug-like things. So arachnids, uh, millipedes, centipedes, ice pods, roaches. There was a ton of bugs. There's a few mantis tables. Like if you wanted creepy crawly things, like this was the show. Like I don't think I've ever seen this much bugs. So I'm glad that bugs got on the scene. I of course got some bugs. So um, I'll show you that in a minute. So let's get into the animals I got. All right, so like I said earlier, I got some bugs cause that was the theme of the show. So the first one I got, I was surprised my husband let me get because it's kind of scary looking. It's a tiger wandering spider. We got it from Marshall Arachnids. You can kind of see it, it's spindly. It's still a baby, so it's gonna get bigger than this. They're super fast, which he doesn't like, and they can't really hurt you, but they're fast. So it's gonna be a fun time raising this one. And then from Paul's Pills, we got a couple roach species, cause I like the really fancy weird roaches. So I got some horseshoe crab roaches. They're pretty neat looking when they're adults. They're kind of like dubia roaches, so people feed them off. I probably don't want to feed them off because they're really cute. But yeah, they look like little horseshoe crabs. They are still little, so they don't really have that horseshoe crab look yet. And then I already have domino roaches, so I got some question mark roaches. Uh, can't really see them. They're all on the bottom. These are baby question mark roaches. They're cute. They're black and white. They don't really look like roaches at all. All right, we're gonna start with this little guy first for our ball pythons that we got. And this was a cheapy one that we kind of got because uh, we think it's not totally what it says it is. So this was listed as just a pinstripe. It is a very dark, rich brown. I don't even know if it's showing up very good in this video. And the belly is fairly yellow. We asked them what the parents were. They just said pinstripe, so I don't really know if they knew. But we're gonna try to prove him out as an adult because he is like really pretty for a pinstripe. He was a cheapy guy. Obviously didn't come for him, but we're gonna see if we can prove out some other genetics within him. All right, this next girl is probably breeder ready size. We still have to weigh her. This was one that we wanted, but we haven't seen anywhere. And so we weren't expecting to actually find it, but there it was as a decently big female. So she's gonna be perfect for one of our projects. She is a banana nanny. He said it was possibly Mojave too, but we're we're not really caring as much about the Mojave for our project. So we're just hoping to get that banana nanny out of her. So yeah, she is big and really nice. Nice banana spots. And we got her from a vendor that we really hadn't seen before. It was Anthony Toro from Wake Up and Snake Up. Okay, and these last two, we definitely were not intending to get. Apparently when you network very well with people and you buy things from people, they will do things for you. And that's really, really cool. We've bought a few snakes from SRS Reptiles and we saw this one, both me and my husband thought this was a gorgeous little snake. He was like, oh, do you want it? And we're just like, oh, we would, but we don't, we've spent all of our money on Friday. And he's like, that's okay, but you can pay me later because I trust you because I've worked with you a bunch. So that was pretty neat. This is a Jigsaw Blackhead GHI Cinnamon. It's a girl, we need more girls in our group. I'm so really excited to raise her up, but she has a beautiful stripe. Her eyes are real cute. Of course, I won't focus on her eyes at all. We also got this one from SRS Reptiles that we're paying back later. It is a breeder ready female. She is a Mystic Pastel Hinging Woma. So she is real cute. Of course, now she's shedding. She wasn't shedding at the show, but she has 
Gorgeous eyes also that the camera doesn't want to pick up ever, but she's really friendly, very sweet, beautiful snake. So we're really excited to work with her very soon since she is ready. So those are some of the animals we got at the Schaumburg NERVC show in 2023. Takeaways is make friends with your vendors. You never know, go to the show because it's a nice kind of chill one compared to Tinley and we will see you all at Tinley again. We will catch up on a lot of videos because I know I haven't put out any in recent days, but I will be back on that very soon. So thanks, like, and subscribe. See ya. That's not her name. <laughs> Do not name her that. Nanny Banana. She's yellow and nannies Stop. are typically women. <laughs> no, not a piss mama. Absolutely not. This is recording that whole